Okay, first grade, we are going to be wrapping up our leaf imprint in plaster of Paris project. We are going to be watercolor painting today the leaf area. You noticed last time that when you remove that leaf, we had a beautiful imprint of the leaf and the veins of the leaf into the plaster. You can see the lines and the texture in there. Now today we're gonna to have a little fun with the watercolor painting. Now remember, watercolors are used with water. We cannot use them dry out of the palette. There's no paint there until we actually wet it with our brush. So I would recommend that you maybe stick to no more than three colors and you are gonna be able to use the regular watercolor palette of the regular colors. I am also giving you what's called the metallic palette and then the glitter palette. So it's up to you which of these colors you want to use, but I would try to stick to maybe um, no more than three colors. First, you'll start by wetting your brush and then choosing your first color that you want to use. So I think for mine, I'm going to actually be using a, um, an orange color because I love how the fall leaves turn the colors and many of them are orange. So I'm going to do a base of orange and as you're working, if it seems like you're running out of paint, simply wet your brush, get a little more paint and then apply it. Now we're only painting the leaf area. We painted the background last time. So we're going to fill in that whole leaf with one color first, one base color. And you can see how that plaster of Paris just kind of absorbs the paint. But again, watercolor paints are what we call transparent, meaning you can see through them. They're not a thick paint. They're very, very thin, very watery. And that works really well with this plaster so we can still see the texture of the veins. In fact, we can probably see it even a little bit more than we did before. So I'm going to fill in the whole area of my leaf, going right to the edges, trying to cover all the white areas. This might take a little bit of time, so take your time with it. And you can even darken some of those areas if you go back and put a little more paint on there, it'll make it a little bit darker. Add a little more water, it'll spread out a little bit more. I'm even gonna do the little area where my stem was. Now I wanna switch colors. So I need to clean my brush in the water. Be careful not to tip the water dish over. Just kinda carefully swish your brush around there. Then choose your second color. And now you can paint over the top using your second color. So I'm gonna choose a little red. And I'm gonna put a little bit of red in here. Just in some areas. Just to give it a little bit more color. And I believe I said you can use up to three colors. So I'll put a little red on there. I love the reds of fall. Put a little bit on there. And I'm, I'm kind of following the direction of my veins. See how those lines go up? I'm following the directions of those veins. Put a little bit on the tip here. Clean my brush because we need to clean brushes in between colors so we don't ruin our palettes. Then I will take another color. I'm gonna take a little purple this time. So maybe I'll choose a little bit of this glittery purple. And if you find that a color is not really showing up, it's okay to go ahead and switch colors then. I'm gonna put just a little bit of that purple in there. Now that one's light, so I'm gonna to go to my other palette where my purple is. put a little bit of that purple on there. There we go, I got a little more. And that'll be it. Put your, put your brush in the water when you're done and we'll wrap it up for today.